What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's your boy Goblin, and today we're coming in with a classic Thanksgiving story. A, happy Thanksgiving everyone, thank you all for being here, I'm thankful for everybody, let's dive right into it, let's not waste any time here on this fine holiday, and also, there is a little time I'm gonna waste because... Merch drop December 1st, boys. Pull up. Get in there. Get ready for the merch drop. What are you waiting on? You're going to want to be there, all right? December 1st, there's a couple designs that I'm not showing you guys until drop day. Be ready for it. I repeat, be ready for it. Also, for those guys who are looking to get some of the merch that's getting removed from the site on December 1st, we are taking down some of those items, and there's actually a discount code. A little Black Friday merch sale, baby. Hey, go get you some today. DM me proof of purchase for a follow back. I appreciate all you guys for the support. Thank you all for showing love, copping that merch, making things possible possible for me. I appreciate you. Let's dive right into this story. Oh, and also, I got banned on Twitter, by the way, just for, for seven days, not permanently, for seven days, for telling Amazon to go choke on their dinners because they, listen, my TV showed up cracked. That's a different thing, all right? I was mad about that. So, follow my alt Twitter. Link is going to be in the description. I'm tweeting there for the next week. Either way, let's dive into it. So, this happened, of course, way back on Thanksgiving, right? Way, way back. I say way back like it's a big thing. It's really not. And my Thanksgivings, you know, were always pretty interesting because obviously, since my parents were divorced, I usually had two Thanksgivings, right? It wasn't like, you know, oh, I would uh, I would go to one or I'd have to pick one for the year, you know? It's like my family would just, uh, one side of my family would do Thanksgiving, you know, maybe the day after or like on a different day or something like that, you know? And it would work out pretty well. So every year, I'd have my mom's Thanksgiving and my dad's Thanksgiving, and they were both vastly different. My mom's Thanksgiving, it was just like me and my mom and my grandma, and, you know, usually I would just go rip the bong and then come inside and get, you know, get stuffed, just eat a bunch of fucking food, get smacked. It was great, right? My dad's Thanksgiving is hectic. My dad's Thanksgiving, there's a lot of people there, you know, it's my dad's side of the family, and they're all terrible, terrible people, okay? I'm, I, listen, I'm not just saying that, they're horrible people, all right? It's not good. The food's not good. I need to be on drugs to be there to tolerate the environment. It's not a good time. And of course, on this fateful day, I go to my dad's Thanksgiving, right? So, Day starts off, I hop in the car, and I'm riding along with my dad to my grandpa's house, which was our, our kind of gathering spot, right? Mainly because grandpa's old as shit, that man's not going nowhere, so we're eating at his house, right? So I hop in the car, and in my pocket, I bring with me a couple bars, right? Just a, just a couple little Xannies, you know? And at this point, I actually wasn't super into Xanax during this Thanksgiving, but I, I needed some just to bring with me, you know? For whenever I would go to my grandpa's house on my dad's side of the family, I'd literally bring pills every time. I didn't care what pill it was. I needed a drug that I could throw down the hatch quietly, conveniently, and easily, you know, because my God, I, I can't stress enough. You can't tolerate these family functions sober, dude. My family's so dry. They're crusty. It's like bread, dude. It sucks. Just, just play like wheat bread, bro. Like it just sucks. It's just horrible. Okay. So either way, we're riding over to my grandpa's house for Thanksgiving and I got these Zans down the hatch before we even get there. Four milligrams down the hatch, right? ready to rumble, right? So we pull up to my grandpa's house, and of course, you know, my whole family's there. We got aunts, we got uncles, you know? We got a whole whole bunch of shit going on. And of course, listen, Thanksgiving on my dad's side of the family used to be much better, you know, when my grandma was still alive. But then my grandma died, and my grandpa's old as fuck, dude. This guy, like, like, no offense to the dude, he's senile as hell, okay? So that man's not cooking. And the only other person who lives with him is my uncle, who... I guess you could call him a caretaker, but that's not why he lives there. He's really just, like, the king neckbeard, like, ver I'm, like, it's actually, all right, it's kind of interesting. I don't think I've ever talked about this, but I have, like, the overlord neckbeard fucking virgin uncle. He's literally, like, 65 years old, and he never moved out of his parents' house. Like, to this day, he still lives with my grandpa. My grandpa's dead now. He still lives in that house. It's just his house. He never moved out of that exact same house. It's it's kind of crazy. His whole 60 years, he just lived in the same house. Me, I'd go crazy doing that, but I guess the guy managed. So, either way... Obviously, King Neckbeard Uncle and my fucking grandpa, my senile grandfather, are not going to whip up a good Thanksgiving. So I really needed to be on drugs. So I get there, and I, you know, the bar smacked. You know, the bar, I'm really feeling the bar starting to take effect right as I get there. So I'm chilling out. I'm saying hi to all my family members. I'm starting to really feel laid back and relaxed. I'm excited. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm ready to go. You know, I'm just, ah, hey. 
hey, we're going to breeze through this Thanksgiving. I'll get back home. I'll get back to gaming, smoking weed in no time, right? And speaking of weed, of course, you know, it's Thanksgiving. So I brought a little gram and a blunt wrap with me. I hadn't rolled it up yet, but I was like, you know, we'll figure that part out later. So... You know, once I'm done saying hello to everyone, I bump into my cousin, you know, and I'm like, hey, you know, there, there's my cousin. Hey, what's going on? The only guy there who I could kind of talk to or relate to, right? So we kind of go into his, you know, little area, aka my grandpa's dining room, right? And we're chilling there, right? We're, we're chatting there kind of away from the family. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I brought a little bit of bud. Like, we should go smoke up or something before the food's done. Let's get it going. And he's like, oh, yeah, you guys got here kind of late, you know? Like, we like the food's almost done. Like, we should go do that in a minute. And I'm like, bet, perfect. So we walk back out, right? We, we leave back out of there. And we decide, we're like, all right, you know what? Let's go, boys. We're pulling. We're out of here. Okay, we're out. We're we're dipping. We're going on a walk. So of course, I tell my aunt, you know, and I tell my dad. I'm like, oh, you know, me and me and my cousin here, we're just we're just going on a walk. You know, hey, just taking a little stroll, playing a little Pokemon Go, if you will. And of course, they're all like, oh, yes, of course, Thanksgiving. You want to walk around the neighborhood, you know? And we go outside. I've got the bud and the blunt in my pocket. And we take a little stroll. Now, of course, we didn't have it rolled up yet. And I'm barred. At this point, this shit's smacking me. So I'm walking slow as fuck, bro. I'm straight lagging, dude. I'm just strolling, enjoying the view. I forgot that we were even supposed to smoke a blunt, you know? But I'm walking, and my cousin's kind of chatting to me. I don't really remember what the fuck this guy was trying to say. But we went to our classic spot. I think I talked about this spot quite a few times, but whenever I would go to the family gatherings, you know, me and my cousin would always take that little walk and we'd go smoke, right? And the baseball dugout was the spot. There was this school that had a baseball field and the dugout was just perfect. Like it was huge. There was like a table in it where you could roll blunt and the stands were perfect. Like just the whole baseball field was a smoke spot, right? So I go into the dugout and I'm rolling up this blunt and I'm on, bro, holy shit, I'm lagging. It took me forever to roll this blunt. I'm sitting there talking to him and we're just chatting it up, catching up like, oh, how have you been? How's school? Yada, yada, this and that, you know, getting the formalities taken care of. And I'm rolling up this blunt on slow mode, bro. I just, I like my brain can't handle it, dude. I'm, I'm on low power mode. I'm under 20% power, dude. It's fucked. So I'm rolling this shit up, you know, and I got my gram, and I'm twisting it up, and my cousin, he's like, oh, like, uh, do you want me to help you with that? And I'm focusing so intensely, because this is my only rap. I didn't have another swisher, I didn't have a bowl, there was no bong in the vicinity, this was it. If I didn't pearl this blunt, we weren't getting stoned for Thanksgiving. If I wasn't stoned for Thanksgiving, I'd lose my mind, okay? I can't handle that. So obviously I rolled this blunt to the best of my ability, and I remember it being a little loose. It was a little fucked up, but it smoked, so I sparked it, right? We smoked this blunt, we get it down the hatch, it's a hoot, it's a holler. We crunch that, and we go back to my grandpa's house, you know? We walk back a couple blocks over, and it's time for Thanksgiving, baby. It's time to eat. So we sit around at the table, and let me, listen, let me give you all a rundown of my family's Thanksgiving, Okay. So you got the turkey, of course, right? You got the turkey. They do stuffing. The shit's dry and crusty, all right? There's no moisture in the stuffing. That's a key component to stuffing. They don't tell you about that. They don't teach you about that in school. You got to learn it through experience, okay? Stuffing needs moisture. I need my damp stuffing, all right? That shit's dry and crusty. Not going to fly, right? The mashed potatoes. You want to hear the biggest sin of all? The mashed potatoes come out of a box. The Thanksgiving mashed potatoes came out of a box. That's the worst sin of all, dude. That's where I draw the fucking line, dude. That's right. That's why I say enough is enough, dude. I've I've on I've had it up to here, dude. They, 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 listen, my grandma died. They fell off hard, dude. They're at the bottom. All right, them boys cannot cook no Thanksgiving. All right. So either way. We got the box mashed potatoes, the crusty stuffing. The turkey was dry, but the skin was good at least. All right. There was no. There was no green bean casserole. Do you know how fucking mad that makes me? My mother makes the finest green bean casserole. It's exquisite, okay? I love green beans, and green bean casserole is like one of the king sides. It's one of the staple sides, in my opinion. The motherfuckers don't even have a green bean on the plate. I've, I'm sick of it. I'm fucking, I'm sick of it, dude. I'm so glad I didn't have to attend that shit this year. Fuck, dude. Either way. So, after you're finished crunching all that, you know, and your cranberry sauce, which is the best part of it, you know? Uh, with that Thanksgiving, the cranberry sauce was a necessity. You had to get a scoop of it with everything you ate because everything tasted bad. So, you needed the bitterness of the cranberry sauce to just fucking just, just ruin everything else, you know? 
And then the worst part is after that, they, they'd make a pie, but it wasn't no pumpkin pie. They would do one of those like like chocolate pudding pies. You guys know what I'm talking about? Where it's like, like it's just like chocolate pudding on like crust, like graham cracker crust. And like they just put like whipped cream on top. It's all it, it all comes out of a box. They don't make shit. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm sick of it. Okay, I just had to go off on my tirade. My bad, dude. All right. So either way, we're sitting there and I'm barred out and I'm stoned and I'm just I'm wolfing this food down, bro. I don't care where it came from, dude. I don't give a fuck what box this came out of. I'm smashing it. It's great. I love it. We're eating this shit. And I remember, you know, listen. My my dad's side of the family was fairly sizable, right? So the the table was pretty big. So you could kind of get away with being fucked up and being quiet and just eating, right? At my mom's Thanksgiving, that would never fly. If I showed up barred, I'd go to hell, right? I go to the gulag. But at this one, I'm chilling, dude. I'm good to go, right? So either way, I'm I'm just fucked up sitting next to my cousin and my dad's to my left, and I'm smashing this food. And I realize a couple minutes in. They had no gravy, so of course, I go grab the gravy. Now, of course, they they didn't, of course, it came out of a box or a bag or some shit. They don't make, it was watery, okay? I always remember the gravy was always so watery, dude. Fuck. Fuck, dude. It makes me so angry. It's such a disgrace to Thanksgiving, okay? Fuck, dude. Either way, so, back on topic here. So, we, we got the watery gravy, and I grab the little gravy thing, you know? I'm getting ready to just pour it up, just top myself off with a little gravy, I dumped that motherfucker, bro. I straight, listen, there's gravy everywhere. It's on the tablecloth. It's on my lap. It's under my plate. It's under my glass. It's on my napkin. It's everywhere, bro. And because it's so watery, it's not like that thick gravy. It just immediately fans out over the whole table, right? I'm talking, I'm barred out. My fingers are fucking covered in gravy and they stink like gravy. Okay. I'm covered in gravy. I'm kind of stoned. I'm like, I'm just trying to eat. And once I spill it, the funniest part I remember was I didn't immediately clean it up. Like I spilled it and I just like kept eating. I was just like, oh, fuck, dude. I just like put it down and I kept eating. And then I realized like, oh, I should probably grab my napkin, right? So I grabbed my napkin and wiped that shit out. My cousin, you know, he's helped me do it. He's like, oh, my God, like, oh, like, holy shit. Like, I can't believe you just dropped that, you know, trying to like make a joke out of it and take the attention off the fact that I'm fucking shit faced, dude. I'm ruined, dude. I'm so barred out. It's disgusting, dude. I'm I'm big chilling at this event, right? So. Obviously, we clean up this gravy, all fine and dandy, get that over with, and we finish the meal part, you know, and after the meal, we have the tradition where everyone goes and sits in the living room, right? We don't do shit. We don't say shit. We, it's, not, it's not like we interact with each other. We just go sit in the fucking living room. So, of course, we went and sat in the fucking living room, right? That's exactly what we did. We went and sat in the fucking living room. So we go sit in there. We sit around the TV. And we're just watching TV, having a hoot, having a holler, chilling out, dude. You know what I'm saying? Uh, And just kind of, hey, man, listen, listen. It was very boring. I wish we did more, dude. That's all I'm saying. I wish we did more. But God forbid we ever do that. Uh, But either way, listen, man. We got that done. We sat in the living room. It was a hoot. By the time we got to the living room and sat there a little bit, you know, I I was kind of calming down. You know, the bar was wearing off and I was getting bored fast. At first, it was like, dude, I could stare at this wall all day, you know. But after like an hour of living room time went by, then it was like, okay, you know, hey. Hey, maybe it's time to try something else, such as going home. So that's exactly what we did, right? I, I prodded my dad. I was like, Dad, dude, we got, we got to get the fuck out of here right now, dude. And of course, we ended up going home, dude. I, I skedaddled the fuck out of there, dude. Hey, made it out, barred out, got my plate, dumped the gravy on everyone. But you know what? Who cares? We escaped that one. Hey, get ready for the next mission. Hey. Thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you all for being here. Don't forget, Goblin Merch Drop, Black Friday Sale, discount code in the description. Thank you all for supporting. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, gamers.